Okay, the Hatton's Grace Hurdle next, the Group 1 here over two mile, four furlongs, and it's quite an elite field. So, number one is Attorney General for Paul Rhodes, three, two is Eagle has landed for Joshua Sladden, three, Holly West for Graham Clatterbuck, four, If You Want Blood, Martin Leland, five, Lily Light and David Robertson, six, Jim Murray for Del Hinton, seven, Black Benny for Moilet Surfer, eight, Kumadatha for D Thompson, nine is Doug's Plastic Paradise for Stu Gray, ten is Pickpocket for Leon, and eleven is Western Gate for Jim Murray, and he's named the favourite, which I think He's unbeaten in his last two previous starts, so he must have a good chance, and they're all away. This group one event. As we wait for him to settle down. It looks like it's going to be Doug's Plastic Paradise and Jim Murray that are going to lead us into the first. A couple of uh, trainers named after trainers. Trainers' horses after trainers. Anyway, Jim Murray's going to lead them into the first. As Doug's Plastic Paradise takes a little bit of paw and drops back into the pack. So Jim Murray leads by a couple to Western Gate Attorney General into the first flight. Everybody's over it. The one at the rear is If You Want Blood. You'll need some blood maybe after this. So as I take this little turn here, we've got ten hurdles and then go shape. And we still have a good couple of miles left to run. So it's Jim West. Jim Murray, sorry, from Western Gate. Jim West, who's he? Nobody knows. Adam West, Batman. It's the only other West I know. So, I approach the second. Everybody's over it. Although Jim Murray's lead now has just been cut to a length to the Attorney General in second. And we've got Western Gate. A couple out wider, Black Benny and Holly West. And wider still is Pit Pocket. And the furthest wide is Eagle has landed. But on the inside of those is uh, a couple, which is Doug's Plastic Paradise and Lily Lightning. That will be the last next time round. So a nice aerial shot here. And we've got Kumadatha and if you want blood towards the rear. So it's still Jim Murray that leads us. So Jim Murray is one, two is Attorney General, three is Western Gate, they're in Indian file. Now they're following through by Holly West, Lily Lightning, Back, Benny, Doug's Plastic Paradise. They take the fourth. One at the rear now is Eagle has landed. Joshua will want to make a little bit more from that horse, but it's uh, been a quite successful, I think. And it's a returning horse as is uh, Doug's Plastic Paradise, who came second in this race last year. I know that information because he's mine. They're going to the fifth. Everybody's over that, but some slow jumps at the back from Kumadatha and Eagle has landed. There's probably uh, 15 lengths from first to last, because Jim Murray's pulled ahead again. By about six to Western Gate and Attorney General. And on the outside is Black Benny and the inside is Holly West. Lily Lightning's got nowhere to go. The one against the fence is Doug's Plastic Paradise. The grey nearest to us is Pickpocket. They're followed through by If You Want Blood. And then just at the rear is Eagles Landed and Kumadatha. So still nine furlongs left to go. And still another five hurdles to negotiate. As they approach the next, it's still Jim Murray that leads us from Western Gate in second. Lily Lightning's taken third on his own now. From Holly West, Doug's Plastic Paradise, Black Benny and Pit Pocket. They'll get over the six. Another slow jump there by Eagle has landed. But they're all quite closely packed now. There's probably only eight lengths between first and last as Western Gate challenges Jim Murray. On the outside is Lily Lightning. Holly West and Pit Pocket still going well. Doug's Plastic Paradise is covered up. The one on the inside moving up is Eagle has landed. Black Benny's starting to go backwards a little bit if you want blood looking for better position. And just at the rear now is Attorney General. And come on, there's a poor jump there by Doug's Plastic Paradise is just himself right into the back of the pack now but up front is Western Gate Lily Lightning Pit Pocket and Jim Murray Holly Weston if you want blood then we've got Doug's Plastic Paradise Black Benny Eagle has landed against the fence Kumadatha and Attorney General so we hit the five furlong pole it's Western Gate that now leads us from Lily Lightning in second third is Jim Murray Doug's Plastic Paradise on the outside is four further wider is Holly West and Pit Pocket the grey the one moving through the pack and looking ominous now is Eagle has landed as they go over the eighth and he's jumped it well so Eagle has landed now puts pressure on and heads for home he leads by a couple of lengths the rest of the jockeys seem to be a little bit caught out here as Eagle has landed starts to pull away by two to three we're inside the th final three furlongs we've got two hurdles left to negotiate it's the Eagle has landed leads by four to Western Gate Lily Lightning Holly West Attorney General Black Benny the Grey Pit Pocket the one on the inside if you want blood then we've got Jim Murray going backwards and Kumadatha they're over the ninth there's not much in it out of the pack tries 
Ducks past it, Paradise, Lily Lightning, Western Gate. They're not going to catch this leader, I don't think. Eagle has landed, has pulled away and made a fine start to the this race in. Looks like you're going to pick up this grade one. Got half a furling. Oh, and he went through the top of it. And here come the rest. Out of the back comes Kumadatha over the top of everybody. Kumadatha. Eagle has landed. Eagle has landed. Kumadatha. Whoa. Eagle has landed. Nearly threw that away. He almost did land on the floor on that last hurdle. Obviously, he just wanted to make the end of the race exciting. Just hangs on there. Eagle has landed from Kumadatha in second. Third was Western Gate. A fortunate win there for Josh. I've seen plenty of horses lose it on the last. So Joshua Southern wins the G1 Hatton's Grace Hurdle. Second was Kumadatha for D. Thompson. Third was Western Gate for Jim Murray. Fourth was Attorney General for Paul Rhodes. And fifth was Black Benny for Moylet Surfer.